Nonverbal reasoning. Type 15. Nets of cubes. Part 3. This is part 3 of a five part series on nets of cubes. In this session, we will show you how a net can be folded to form a cube, how to identify the cube that can be formed from the given net. The net will contain diagrams or shapes like arrows, circles, triangles, etc. on its faces. Steps to follow to solve these questions. Step 1. Determine which shapes are opposite each other. Eliminate from the answer choices the cubes with these shapes next to each other. Step 2. Look for special features of the shapes. For example, the direction in which an arrow points, or the direction of an open end of a shape. Let's look at an example to show you what we mean. Look at the given net. Opposite sides, the blue rhombus is opposite the red triangle. The green arrow is opposite the pink arrow. The yellow triangle is opposite the circle. Special features. Both the arrows must point to the yellow triangle. The yellow triangle points towards a corner of the rhombus. The triangles must have parallel sides next to each other. The red triangle must point towards the circle. Example 2. You are given a net of a cube and must choose from amongst the answer choices the cube that can be formed from the given net. Let us first identify the opposite sides. The arrow is opposite the semicircle. We can eliminate B because they are next to each other on this cube. The plus is opposite the times sign. The two circles are opposite. We can eliminate A because the two circles are here next to each other. If we look for special features, the arrow must point towards the plus sign. We can eliminate E because the arrow points away from the plus sign. The open end of the half circle must be next to the plus sign, so we can eliminate C because the half circle points away from the plus. The correct answer is D. This is what the folded cube will look like. Example 3. You are given a net of a cube and must choose from amongst the answer choices the cube that can be formed from the given net. Identify the opposite sides. The arrow is opposite the half circle. We can eliminate E because the arrow is next to the half circle in this cube. The square is opposite the star. The L form is opposite the donut. We can eliminate A because in A the L form is next to the donut. Special features. The arrow must point towards the donut. We can eliminate D because in D the arrow points towards the L shape. The open side of the half circle points towards the long side of the L. We can eliminate C because the open end of the half circle points towards a short side of the L shape. The correct answer is B. This is how the cube will be formed. For practice questions on nets of cubes, visit us at www.11plusgenie.com.